We are the Katie Trailblazers, and our team is very excited to share our alternative route recommendations and additional safety recommendations using our research and gatherings from literature and consultants to make the most feasible and efficient solutions. The Loop Bikeway is a visionary 50-mile bike loop encompassing Dallas that seeks to transform the city's cycling infrastructure. The goal of the loop is to significantly improve access to cycling infrastructure and be more inclusive of historically underserved neighborhoods in East and South Dallas. While the hope is to unite communities with shared public green space, there are many challenges rooting in infrastructural, societal, and economic barriers that have created setbacks in the inclusion of cycling facilities in the past. The Katy Trail is a popular 3.5 mile trail that runs through the Uptown and Oaklawn areas of Dallas and welcomes over 2 million visits each year. As it continues to grow in popularity, the Katy Trail has become busy and hectic with lots of pedestrians and cyclists. While already a mixed use trail, there are numerous safety concerns with increased traffic and congestion. Thus, the inclusion of the Katy Trail into the Dallas Loop Bikeway can create magnifying safety issues for Katy Trail users as well as new loop cyclists. When looking at the rates of cyclists and pedestrian fatalities due to accidents compared to other major cities, Dallas ranks the highest at about 4.91 deaths per 1,000 people, which clearly emphasizes the problem at hand. 90.1% of all Dallas cycling incidents causes either injury or death with the main cause of collision being failing to yield the right of way, passing improperly, or speeding. Clearly, the safety of both cyclists and pedestrians is an issue for the city of Dallas, and a solution needs to be implemented to prioritize the safety of our local community. This map further emphasizes the dangers of overcrowding on trails and roadways for both cyclists and pedestrians. On this map of Dallas, the dark red shaded regions have over 100 bicycle and pedestrian crashes per square mile reported between 2018 and 2022. It should be noted that this area includes the ending of the Katy Trail. Additionally, the green and blue dots and stars represent both non-fatal and fatal crash locations. This map clearly displays the problem at hand, and we plan to address these safety issues. To put it quite simply, our clearly defined goal is to find the most feasible and practical alternative route for the Katy Trail portion of the Dallas Loop to reduce traffic and congestion and ultimately increase safety for pedestrians and cyclists. Based on what we found through our conversations with the community, we are proposing multiple recommendations that would improve safety for both cyclists and pedestrians. While we have an alternative route, we also believe that implementing radar speed signs along the trail for cyclists and a volunteer safety committee for the Katy Trail are necessary steps for enhancing the safety of our local community, Dallas community. All right, here's our proposed southbound route. So bikers will exit the loop at Mockingbird and from Mockingbird, they will turn left on an airline. And at airline, there's an alleyway that runs behind Abbott Avenue. They'll take that all the way down to Fitzhugh. And at Fitzhugh, they'll turn right onto it. And then they'll turn left onto Turtle Creek Boulevard all the way to Carlisle Street. And at Carlisle Street, they'll turn right onto Ralph, where it dead ends at the Katy Trail next to the Katy Trail Ice House. All right, here's our proposed northbound route. Bikers will exit the Katy Trail at the Katy Trail Ice House onto Ralph Street. They'll take Ralph up to Carlisle. And at Carlisle, they'll turn left onto Cedar Springs, which turns into Turtle Creek Boulevard. And they'll ride that all the way up to Armstrong, where they will turn right onto Armstrong. And at Armstrong, they can turn left onto Abbott. And they can enter our alleyway and ride that all the way up to Airline. At Airline, they can turn right onto Mockingbird. Because we know we cannot change the behavior of every cyclist, we have also come up with solutions to implement on the Katy Trail in order to increase safety for pedestrians and cyclists that will continue to use it. The two solutions we propose are installing radar speed signs along the trail and establishing a volunteer safety committee. Our first solution is placing radar speed signs in long stretches of the trail where cyclists often gain speed. By providing real-time speed feedback and visual alerts, the radar speed signs would enhance safety for cyclists and pedestrians. These would be equipped with solar panels to harness renewable energy, eliminating the, eliminating the need for costly electrical infrastructure and ongoing energy expenses. The cost for each radar sign would be between $1,900 and $7,500.
and it would take between three months to a year to install them. We believe this is an important investment as research done by the Bureau of Transportation shows that radar speed signs can reduce speeds by an average of five to seven miles per hour. In order to offset costs, local businesses, organizations, and stakeholders can contribute financially in exchange for recognition on signage or through collaborative marketing initiatives. Our second solution is to establish a volunteer safety committee. As part of this role, volunteers would undergo training on safety protocols, communication techniques, and conflict resolution. After being properly trained, volunteers would perform visual inspections of cyclist safety, making sure that they are going at appropriate speeds and respect respecting pedestrians, providing safety tips to trail users, and offering assistance with directions or emergencies. We would establish checkpoints at the busiest areas on weekends, which are Memorial and Snyder's Union at the busiest times, which are 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. on weekdays and 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. on weekends. This solution would cost zero dollars as it would be entirely volunteer based and could be implemented in as little as one month. When looking at an overview of our solutions, we propose an alternative to the to alternative route to the Katy Trail, solar powered radar speed signs and a volunteer safety committee. Our alternative route is a part of a bigger vision of the Dallas Loop, which we believe will improve the safety for both pedestrians and cyclists in our local community. With all of this, we hope you consider our recommendations and we thank you for listening.